Hi guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a very quick haul for you and show you some of the things that I picked up when I did some Black Friday shopping. Um, Kohl's, Ulta, and Dick's Sporting Goods, and actually the mall by my house, all opened at midnight. A lot of stores opened at midnight this year, which was really strange. Um, but my kids wanted to go, which was kind of neat because, you know, typically, especially boys, they don't want to go out and do stuff like that. But all my kids wanted to go, so... Um, we kind of braved the crowds, which it wasn't too bad. Actually, I'm lying. The mall, the mall was horrible. There were, I mean, there were so many people. I've never seen it that busy before. So, but anyway, I'll show you guys what I got at Kohl's. I got this bracelet here. This is Apartment 9 brand. I love this bracelet. And since I got hired on with Mac, I wanted to find some really nice jewelry to go with um, my clothes. Because you have to wear all black there. So I thought this would be really nice and kind of appropriate. This is Apartment 9 brand, and I'm guessing that the style of the bracelet is called Natasha. Um, but this was a $28 bracelet. It was 50% off for Black Friday. Um, and then I got a pair of boots. Now, I'm going to tell you about these boots. They're kind of like fake Uggs. I'm not really an Ugg kind of person, but what attracts me to those type of boots is how thick they are inside. They look really warm. Sarah and I, on December 21st, are doing an all-night ghost hunt at the Mansfield Reformatory, the old Mansfield Reformatory here in Ohio. And obviously, it's going to be wintertime. The prison is not heated, so I need really warm boots for this ghost hunt that we're doing. So, I knew that Kohl's was having this sale on their fake Uggs, so I was like, cool, I'm going to get a pair, because they were only $20. So, I got, I got these is what they look like um i didn't try them on in the store because i mean the store was like a mad rush you know as a matter of fact i sent my kids up to the shoe section like they ran they literally ran up to the shoe section to find my size in the boots that i wanted so i didn't try them on i just took the box went to check out and i was done um but this is what they look like they have the little button on the side you can fold them down if you want to when i got home um I tried them on they just they're not they're not the most comfy boots and they weren't very like soft and thick inside and not not only that but my toes were kind of like rubbing on the front part inside so I'm like all right I, I can't keep these boots so I'm actually gonna take these back but I wanted to show you guys this this is so awesome I had a $10 gift card that Kohl's gave me um, and then I also had 15% off for Black Friday. So I got the boots and the bracelet for $19.41. You can see that. Now the boots were $20 by themselves on sale. And I got, I got the boots and the bracelet for less than what I would have paid if I would have bought the boots. So um, I thought that was a very good deal. So anyway, I'm taking the boots back. So my kids and I, we decided to go to Dick's Sporting Goods. They were having a pretty good sale, and my oldest son wanted to look at tennis shoes, and um, they wanted to look at hoodies and whatnot. So, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> as they were doing their thing, I was just kind of walking around. I wasn't really interested in anything at Dick's. Um, but I noticed in the shoe department they had bear paw um, boots on sale, and they look like Uggs also. So I went over and I looked at the boots and I kind of felt the inside and I tried a pair on and they were like really cushy inside and thick and I was like, wow, these are awesome. And I kept thinking to myself, I should get these and take the other ones back, but I decided not to. Mostly in part because I just wanted to get the heck out of there. But so I came home and I tried the Kohl's boots on. I didn't like them and I was like, okay, this sucks. Decided to get in the car and drive back to Dick's, which... I didn't go that night, I went the next morning, but I, I was up pretty early and I thought, well, I know Dix is still open. It was like, I think, 8, eight o'clock in the morning. And I was able to get a pair of the um, bear paw boots. So I got these, and they are much thicker inside. They're a lot more cushy and they're warm. Um, see, they're really thick inside, which I, that's what I wanted. I wanted something that was really, you know, like thick and fuzzy. Um, but these are super warm, and I'm really glad I got them. Like I said, I'm not so much an UGG person. I would never spend, I mean, I would never spend that kind of money on 
on a boot that looks like this. I mean, this was $32. Um, but I, I think that I got a pretty good deal on those boots, and I think they'll keep my feet warm. What also will keep my feet warm is the fact that I bought socks that are attached to a battery, and you turn the little switch on, and they heat your feet up. How ridiculous is that? So anyway, I got my boots for my ghost hunt, and I'm set. So those are, that's what I got from Dick's. Um, and then I will show you guys what I got from Ulta, because Ulta is right next to Kohl's by my house, and they were open at midnight also. So I went into Ulta. I, I know I got something other than this. I There's no way that I just got hairspray. Um, I got hairspray. This is the extra full freezing spray from Matrix. These were $8.88. Um, and then when you bought the full can of hairspray, you got a free can, a little a smaller can for free. This is the extra hold shaping spray. It's called Shape Maker. So I got those two. I swear. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna check my Instagram because I know that I got something more than that when I went to Ulta and my brain is just like yibbity 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 oh I got bedhead shampoo I'll actually show you guys the picture um, I got that bedhead shampoo so that's what else I got from Ulta those were $6.99 I believe so I got that um, and then just on oops, different shopping trips sorry guys that's really annoying my, my desk is glass, so anytime I drop anything, it... Anyway. Went to Urban Outfitters and I got two more glitter polishes. They're two for $8, and they're awesome polishes. This one is called After Hours, and I really like that a lot. Um, got this one here. It's called Spicy, which is kind of weird because I would have not named this Spicy, but it's big pieces of purple glitter, and these are two for eight, so I got those. I picked up another glitter from China Glaze. This is, I'm missing, I have all the glitters from their Christmas collection except for Angel Wings. And I don't know why I don't really like that one too much. But I went back and I got this one here. It is called Glistening Snow. And it's a silver glitter. And I really like that a lot. So I got that. And then, um, I can't remember if I showed this to you guys. I think I did. This oily nail polish. See, here's the problem. Whenever I buy something, I take a picture of it and I post it on Instagram. And it immediately goes to Twitter. Well, because I've done that, in my mind, I'm like, oh yeah, I showed everybody. And then when I decide to make a video, I'm sitting there going, holy cow, did I already show this? Or was this Instagram? So, I got this oily nail polish. It's called Decoded and I got it on clearance for $5.99. This is an awesome gray. Love it. It's kind of like a blue gray. I really like that a lot. Um, and then this. This is so weird because um, that new Skyfall collection that came out from OPI, I thought that I knew all the colors, you know, because I've looked at it. I can't tell you how many times I've looked at that collection and I'm like, gosh, I can't believe that I don't like more of these colors. Um, because I've got, I've got two polishes so far from that collection. I got the um, Live and Let Die, which is like the greeny gold one. And then I got... Um, where's the other one? Oh, this one. I got the, um, On Her Majesty's Secret Service, which is this blue. So really, that was all I liked from the collection. And then Sarah and I were there the other day, and we were walking around, and I was like, what is this color? And I picked it up. It's called You Only Live Twice, and it's like a pinky gold. I mean, you turn it, it looks like an orangey gold. But there's gold flecks in it, and it's a pink polish. I swear our Ulta did not have this, because I would have I would have noticed it. But I'm wearing it today. It's such a pretty color. I really, really like that color a lot. So that's the pink that I'm wearing right now. As far as, like, the gold on the tips, the gold is from Color Club, from their new Christmas collection. It's scented. My nails smell like maple syrup, kind of. So I got that, and I, I really, really like that a lot. 
And then I picked this color up from China Glaze. It's called Dorothy Who. And I couldn't help it. I saw someone on Instagram. They posted their nails and they had this color on it. It's just amazing. And actually, Sarah's been looking at this for a long time. And we share nail polishes. So um, I decided to get this one. And I just, I love it. It's such a pretty blue. There's uh, silver glitter running through it. It's awesome. Really, really like that a lot. So, um, that's it. That's all I have. So I totally forgot about this. I wanted to show this to you guys. So I got this from a store by my house called Mark's. It's a grocery store, but they, well, it's kind of like a grocery store slash drug store slash closeout store. Um, they have this whole section of closeouts and they sell stuff really cheap. So I found this. This is a medication organizer. It was a dollar forty nine. That's what it looks like. I bought this so that I could deep pop my lipsticks. Look at how awesome this is. If you pull the little slide thing here, it opens up and there's the little dividers. So what I'm gonna do is deep pot all of my lipsticks and put it in here. How awesome is that? And then I can put little stickers on the tops here so that I know what which lipstick is. I just, I thought that was an awesome, idea so I don't know I thought that was, I thought that was kind of neat whatever I'll show you guys after I depot everything I plan on doing that soon I've actually had this for a while but and then I also wanted to tell you guys too that I am no longer selling Avon um, I don't want to get into why it's not because I don't like the product I do it was for I'm not selling for other reasons um, but mainly because now I'm working for Mac and I don't know how my hours are going to be and I really don't have time to kind of promote Avon and do do what is required so I decided to just kind of call it quits with the Avon so I gave it a try but anyway I hope that you guys found this a little bit interesting I, I like this idea I think this is an awesome idea I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like so alright I'm done rambling I'm gonna go I'll see you guys later bye